Okay guys, we are going to create our very own laurel crown. So if you remember it from two weeks ago in school, we made our leaf shape first. So this one's not going to be cut out, it's just going to be on a piece of paper. So um, you're just going to need a pencil and paper. If you have markers and stuff, you can use them too, but right now you're just going to use the pencil. So let's think about our leaf shapes. So there's many different leaf shapes. So I'm going to draw some leaf shapes for you guys with a Sharpie. So the leaf shape we talked about, remember there was one that was like this kind of like a pointy oval. Then there was a leaf shape that looked like an upside down heart or a spade. Um, there's leaf shapes. So now they can be a little detailed. So now there's leaf shapes that look like this have... Um, pointy edges. There's other leaf shapes that are, if you think of big fall maple leaves, are like this. So you can use any of these leaf shapes or you can make up your own. So first thing that you're going to do is, because it's like a crown, you are going to make a circle the best that you can. Okay? So you can't really see my circle, right? Because I have this bright light on. All right, so I'm gonna draw in Sharpie. You guys are gonna do it in pencil. And remember, you're gonna be able to erase. So I'm gonna draw this circle. That's better. So first thing, you're gonna pick your leaf shape. So you're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna draw one leaf on the, out, on the inside. And then the next sleeve is going to be on the outside. Everyone see that? So now your leaves are going to overlap. So like this, like that. All right. So I'm going to keep going all the way around. Try your best to keep the leaves the same size, same shape. All right, so now as you get to the top, you can turn your paper because it gets a little bit hard to do it kind of upside down. So I'm gonna turn my paper and I'm gonna keep going around. Okay, yours might take you a little longer because you've never done this before. I'm gonna keep turning. If the turning doesn't help you, you don't have to do it. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep turning. So maybe I, I, you know what, this is actually okay like this. Now my leaves are kind of getting a little bit weird shape. That's okay. Okay, so now I have all my leaves and they meet back up here. All right, so I have almost like a wreath. So now what I'm going to do is, online I have uploaded all of these pictures of, they're called Zen Tangles. So Zen Tangles are like black and white patterns. So you don't need to, um, like you can make up your own patterns, like or um, you can look at the ones I have uploaded. So I'm gonna show you some. They're gonna all be attached to the assignment. So one second. So I'm gonna just flip you over to my computer. So I have all my patterns up on my computer. You guys are gonna have about four or five patterns. So if you think about it, each leaf could be a different pattern. Or you could do, hold on, sorry guys. Um, or you could do like half and half, like maybe you draw, remember we talked about those veins on leaves? So maybe you draw the line down the center and then you split the patterns. So let's see, I'm gonna start with a pattern. I'm gonna start with one that's really simple. So I'm gonna do just like all little U's like that. 
everyone see that? And I'm gonna do it on the other one so each side matches up. Now I can either choose to do this one like this or maybe I choose to do a different pattern. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a few leaves at a time. So now I'm gonna do up here. Same thing. Okay, and maybe I'll do one up here. I mean, you could make a pattern if you wanted of like maybe every three leaves you do it, or you could just do it like random. So now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna color in one of the leaves. And you don't have to use black. If you have a different color marker, go for it. Um, if you don't have markers at all, that's okay too. You can just use a pencil and you just color in whatever's black with your pencil. Okay, so I did a few of these like this. And now, so you guys don't have to watch a super long video, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some zigzags. So now we're gonna do some zigzags. Maybe I'll match this one up. And then with these entangles, you can get really detailed. So with the zigzags, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do dots all across. So I'm not gonna tape myself doing the whole thing because I think that'd be a really long video. So I'm just gonna do these ones and then I'm going to attach a photo of the finished product. Okay, so remember, you are trying your best. If you can't do it, that's okay. Just try. Um, so the video is gonna be posted on my YouTube channel I have now. So you can watch the other ones from the other classes too if you'd like. All right, bye guys.